Good morning. This is the 21st of May. This is also the day of Ascension. And our reading um, is from Luke chapter 24, verses 44 through 53. This is Jesus speaking here. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to these things, and see, I am sending upon you what my father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. These are the very last verses in Luke's gospel. In these verses, the disciples, and so these are changes, right? From what we've been experiencing up until this point, the disciples finally get it. In these verses, we see also, that the message, whether and as much as it begins in Jerusalem, then goes out. We're told, that, and this is significant, that the message is for all people. We also see, finally, that the disciples experience great joy. They are finally celebrating the risen Christ and, and what that means. The, the text says, and they were continually in the temple blessing God. Right? And this is the other piece. As much as Jesus left, this was now seen as the beginning of the next exciting chapter, and it is, and we have that chapter, the, the, the beginning of that chapter written right in our Bible, we understand it as Acts, and, and many scholars understand Acts to actually have been written by the same person who wrote Luke. Oftentimes, it's why you may hear it called Luke-Acts, and that's why. We live in the exciting time of Acts. The story of Acts, the books and chapters of Acts, hasn't, hasn't ended because what this, what Acts begins to have and write down and record is what Jesus' followers do after Jesus left. Certainly, the disciples were the first people in the book. We know that. Thing is, you and me are continue are called to continue that book, continue our story that that is really also about proclaiming the message of Jesus. All of these things that we do, this this calling to share the message continues this wonderful story of Jesus. That's our motivation here. That's our call here. Jesus is gone. That we know. But he's left us with the Holy Spirit who then helps us continue the message. I praise God for all you do and say by the message of the gospel. Let us pray. 
Dear Lord, Heavenly God, we give you thanks for Jesus and, and the gospel message that he entrusted us with. And it is the saving power that only Jesus could have given us. And dear God, I give you thanks, we give you thanks for the actions of the disciples who began the story, the story and the book that we are in as we proclaim the message of the gospel. And dear God, give us that power to continue that message. We continually cry out to you, dear God, to end the pandemic of COVID-19. Heavenly God, as always, we pray for all of those who have been affected by this pandemic. Those who are ill, the families who experience death because of it, those who work on the front lines, those who make decisions, Dear God, we pray that you would shower all of them with your love and your grace and your care. We pray through our risen and ascended Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you.